three great symbols to go ahead and tease this upcoming Flash movie for us. But Andy, that's not the only thing that we got this this week, man. Uh, this week, we, we continue to get more set photos from The Flash. So let's go ahead and dive into some of these as we get the opportunity to see Ezra Miller here as The Flash, as Barry Allen, I should certainly say. We get to see Iris West is certainly back in here also, clearly coming out of the courtroom. I'm assuming anything, maybe it's something related to his father for all we know, who, who certainly knows, uh, but we at least do see Ezra Miller on set here and speaking of which because of the fact that we got teased with a batman logo very early on we have our first shot of michael keaton on mm -hmm. set of the flash looking great man by the way that the 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 silver locks that he's got clean suit uh michael keaton continues to age extremely well but bruce bruce wayne's looking like he's kept himself uh, together pretty well when you say yeah yeah i mean he's got to right I guess I, 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 yeah, I'm no assuming choice, if he's but, if he's still fighting crime at this age, maybe yeah. Yeah, definitely. Old man, old man, uh, old man Bruce got to keep it together. You know, you that notice, should be the next movie, Old Man Bruce. Look, notice no Kane, right? Well, I mean, I we don't, I no Kane. I mean, look, I, we don't know that yet. I mean, nah, we don't know if he's nah, holding he, the cane or not. Well, well, he ain't got the hunch. You know what I'm saying? Your back <laughs> got to be hunched you. a little bit if you got I get the you. cane. So. I get you. I get you. Um, so, yeah. So, we got Ezra Miller, some brand new photos of him. Michael Keaton as well. But you think, did you guys think that was it? <laughs> did you guys think that was all that the set photos were going to give us? No, no. We also got ourselves our very first look at Supergirl Indy. I did not think we were going to get the opportunity to see Sasha Kaye in costume already. But man, look at her. She's got the costume suit. First off, I do love the the, the Supergirl suit in general. I love the, like I said uh, at the beginning, the red top blue bottom. It looks absolutely fantastic on her. Um, she's clearly in a harness also doing I'm, I'm assuming if anything in this section yeah. we'll definitely have a cg um a cg cape on uh but there is a physical cape too we do have a blurry photo here of um of sasha with the the actual cape on her costume as well so um indy first glimpses here sasha kaya I, I love this short hair on her too um it, it really pops for me man what do you what do you think so far i'm, I'm gonna be totally honest with you uh with, with me um and it might be because of how the harnesses fit. Yeah. It, her torso looks too short because she has very long legs. And yeah, I think naturally she is legs. I think naturally she is legs. Yeah, and it just makes it just uh where it stops at under under the chest and mm -hmm. then just shoot and it shoots down. I'm looking for that, you know what I'm saying, that shape of that torso, which like we said, is gonna be CG and everything like that. Because you could you can look and see she has the harness on. But what bothers me most about this is going from the waist down is too much blue. Like mm. that throws me off. I feel like you should have at least some gold or something around where the boots is. It, it looks like to me like she's got on a uh, some 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 endless leggings. It just doesn't it, it doesn't feel too much like a suit. It almost feels like a, a, a uh, an Atlanta suit to me instead of oh, rather okay, than a superman suit and that i just don't like that as far as the color scheme i love the shape of the suit i love the details in the suit i think the suit could have more variation of color that's the I only thing i think is missing i will say this i do I, I definitely get what you're saying in there um for me i think the idea of maybe having a, an all red cape will probably help add to uh, a little bit more color because of the fact that this is just a CG section here. I think mm -hmm. once you have that red, that's really gonna pop all the way from her neck all the way down, um, similar to what we see kind of in the set photo. I think maybe it'll kind of contrast against that blue a little bit more for you, but, but I get it. I, I get the idea of maybe yeah. it being a little bit too more too much blue or maybe having some tracing, some, some uh, additional like gold or red somewhere, but I get what yeah. you mean. And then you'll probably have it's different shades of blue and with the CG mm -hmm. and stuff like that or different camera angles when they when they do the lighting and stuff and the after effects that will probably pop more. You know what I'm saying? To show oh, the to show the alternate shades of blue because I can see the rubberized around her knees where it looks like this extra padding and stuff right there. It could be just the shot and how we're looking at it that we can't see all the details in the bottom part of the suit.
Yeah, that's probably a lot of what it is. But yeah, I mean, I, I'm assuming once once it actually goes in the post production, clearly the wire work will be gone, the vest will be gone. You won't even be able to see it. You'll probably have a a much better um, idea of of her figure. So uh, again, I wouldn't necessarily um, say this is the end result, if you will. Um, but I, I'm I'm pretty sure once they actually go into post production and they erase all this, it'll look a lot slicker than uh, a lot of sleeker than it certainly does already. But um, guys, we want to know your thoughts. You see. Sasha Kaye in here. They're also on our Facebook page, um, if you guys haven't checked out our Facebook page, this is where we post all of our news, all of our images um, that we talk about throughout the week. We did go ahead and actually post a photo that they have, or video, I should say, on set of Sasha Kaye suspended in the air. I think she's like um, coming down in for a landing or something like that. But if you guys want to check out the actual video on the set, please go ahead and do so. But um, this is our first quality photos of Sasha Kaye as Supergirl. What do you guys think? Do you like the costume design so far? Is there anything that's jumping outside of you that maybe in post-production you think would certainly look better or uh, certainly missing? Go ahead and certainly let us know your guys' thoughts. Um, what's up, dope. Yeah, I no, thought it was pretty I was, cool. I wasn't expecting that today. No, that that was really dope. Like you came out of nowhere with that, and I was like, "Oh, wow, cool." <laughs> I was like, "Somebody's trying to get something." You know what I'm saying? Sparked up. They're they're happy. They're finished with something. Uh, for me, um, this is like the realization that this movie's happening, guys. You know, like I, we've been waiting for this movie for so long, so many pushbacks and delays that are actually in front of the camera. I can't believe this is happening. Man, I told you, like when it comes to this movie, it's not happening until I'm sitting in the theater watching it. I, I, just, <laughs> I mean, I, just don't I guess trust that's it. I guess that's true too, right? We did have a Zack Snyder film that was filming, and then unfortunately, we wound up getting a completely different film later on down the road. So yeah, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, this is a movie that actually does uh, make it to the all. Big all of a sudden, you know, what I'm saying Supergirl gets cut totally out the movie, kind of <laughs> like Green Lantern was. Like, you oh just... no. <laughs> I, you know, I am kind of curious if um if this Supergirl is in the world of Batman Returns, like that Tim Burton world that he created, since mm -hmm. we do have Michael Keaton that's popping up in here also, I'm wondering if this is, um, I'm wondering if this Supergirl is placed in that same universe as Michael Keaton's Batman. I'm, I, I don't, I, look, I don't know. I don't care. All I know, and I know, I know I'm going to catch a lot of slack for this, but um, just from the, just from that shot alone, I'm already into this Supergirl more than CWs. <laughs> well, I think I think for me, I will say this. I for me, I, I get it. I get it because um, one, you know, the series is wrapping up. I don't necessarily know if Supergirl left a great impression on many people from the CW. For me, I certainly really enjoyed it. And I love what Melissa Benoist has kind of brought to more of that classic traditional Supergirl, if you will. But this just feels like a breath of fresh air after six seasons of seeing somebody in the same costume. Again, not taking anything away from Melissa Benoist, but the idea of having a new Supergirl. Um, yeah, man, there's something really exciting about this. Yeah, definitely. Uh, this is an interesting question that uh, Marcialano has. He said, if the DCU does become more connected, how will the writers explain that Superman and Supergirl are cousins considering they are different colors? I, I think you I think you mean as by race, and I really feel that you could be related and still be different races. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, and plus they're aliens, you know, Kryptonians yeah. come in all different shapes and sizes. Definitely. I would recommend checking out Krypton uh, for for that as well. Definitely. That's a that's a great example. Definitely. Um, uh, but, uh, but even Krypton, Krypton race flipped everybody. <laughs> yeah, pretty pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> but like for me, if anything, one, this could also be a, a different uh, Earth that we're connected to, right? This may mm -hmm. not even be connected to Henry Cavill. Um, and look, they're they're both light complexion and have dark hair. I mean, I think they could pull it off. I mean, I, I think yeah. they could pull it off. But who knows? To, be, to be honest with you, this super. I mean, I never understood the Supergirl with blonde hair anyway. Like you know what I'm saying? Being his older mm -hmm. cousin, like blonde hair, blue eyes. It it just seemed like a typical like uh, what the ideal American was supposed to be. And then that was Supergirl. This one actually looks like she can be related to, you to know what I'm saying? Kyle yeah, yeah. I definitely agree with you. I definitely agree with you there. <laughs>